testing, one, two, testing, one, two. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and clap your hands and give God some praise on this morning. If you love him, give him some praise. If he's been good to you, give him some praise. If he's working it out in your behalf and you believe it this morning, give him some praise. Yes, Lord. It is such a privilege and an honor to be found in the house of God on this morning as we serve him and worship him and fellowship together here at Bethel Outreach, which is found at 16134 Hannah Road here in the city of Lutz. We want you to know that you're always welcome to come and to participate with us in worship and giving God the praise for all of his mighty acts, for his excellent greatness, for his loving kindness toward us. We like to turn this morning into the book of Philippians as we read the word of God together. It reads in this manner, Philippians 3, starting at the first verse. Philippians 3, starting at the first verse, says, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you, to me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you, for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concision. For we are, circum we are the circumcised which worship God in the Spirit. Rejoice in Jesus, or Christ Jesus, and have confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man think that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and the Hebrew of the Hebrews, it's touching the law of Pharisee. Concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I count loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might obtain unto the re resurrection of the dead, not as though had I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind me and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. As we bow our heads together, Lord God, I thank you for your bountiful blessings, your tender mercy, and your grace. I thank you for how you've kept us, Lord God, through this week and have brought us here to fellowship together as a family in Christ. Thanking you for all of your mighty acts and your wondrous works in our midst. Thank you for the very breath that we breathe, Lord God, and the life that we are enjoying because it is by your hands that we were made and that we were kept and that the days were given unto us so that we could rejoice in your greatness and remember all of the wonderful things that you're doing by providing for us families. And Lord God, those families providing the needs that 
oh God, such as food on our tables, clothes on our backs, health in our bodies. Uh, Lord God, with a clear mind and a clarity of thought so that we could work through problems and challenges and situations and that we could keep our eyes looking up toward the hills from which cometh our help, knowing that our help comes from thee and thee alone. Oh God, we thank you for being the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, he that was and is to come. We thank you, Lord God, for being the fullness of our joy. And oh God, the one and only that gives us hope and peace. Ah, God, and hope in the resurrection and the coming of our Christ. Jesus, we ask you to help us to be ready as we submit ourselves unto you as vessels. Lord God, that you can mold and make us in the likeness of your dear son. Help us now, oh God, for we are nothing without you. We are frail and we are made from the dust. But oh God, when you come in, when you abide on the inside, you cause us to become heirs to the throne of glory. Save now, we pray to the utmost. Deliver those that are walking in the door this morning that need to know Christ. Oh God, those that have not come into the knowledge of who you are. And oh God, those that are missing out on this eternal life. Use us to be the witness that points them to you. Save and deliver, we pray. And we'll be careful to give you the glory and the honor. For it is rightfully thine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. At this time, we thank God for you again. Those that are online, we are rejoicing because you are faithfully coming to worship God with us, even online. May God strengthen you as our praise team comes on today. We ask you to prepare yourself for worship and praise. Open up your mouth. Sing unto God a song of praise. Clap with your hands. And rejoice, for he is a God that is working it out for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is our prayers. Our praise team comes. Sister Mary, Broomfield, Sister Lily, Harris. Let's receive them with a hearty amen. And our praise team leader, Sister Ashley Perrin. Thank God for all of them on this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. We thank God for being in his house today. We thank God for another opportunity to sing him praises. We just ask that y'all come together with us and give your all to Christ today. Hallelujah. Anything that you came in that's been heavy on your heart and heavy on your shoulders, we just ask that you lay it at the altar. Give it to God because he's the one who can fix it all. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, whenever we invite his presence in, hallelujah, we just have to have the right mindset, the right posture. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When they were in the upper room, they waited with expectation for God to move. Amen. have to get in the mindset of praise. Amen. We want God to have his way. Amen. We want God to move. Have your way. Have your way. God, have your way, oh God. Have your way, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, I'm going to encourage you to say hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, God. Lord, we honor you on today, God. Lord, we're going to give you our best praise, our best worship on this morning. Hallelujah. Lord, we're going to call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to give you the glory and the honor, Jesus. Come on, in Romans 10:13, it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved hallelujah come on that's the word of god that's what it says for whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved so we're gonna call on the name of the lord on this morning i will call upon the lord for he is worthy to be everyone say i will call upon the lord Who oh, shall I be saved from my enemies? Oh, reign it and blessed be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The oh, Lord reign it and blessed be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. 
it and God is exalted. Hallelujah. If you know he's worthy of the glory, if you know you leave it victorious in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm going to say, Lord, we bless your name. God, we're walking in victory. We're talking in victory. We're praising in victory. Hallelujah. When I go home, it won't be the same, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We declare, God, victory in our marriage. Victory in our relationship. Victory in our job. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. God, you're worthy, God. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Keep on giving Him praise. We're going to turn this service back into the hands of the pastor. But well, come on, shout victory! Victory in Jesus! Victory! Hallelujah! Come on, give him some praise right now. Yeah. And the church say yeah. Yeah, the church say yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I wish I had somebody today. I wish I had someone that would just give him some praise. Look at God Look at God Hallelujah Hallelujah Anybody in here got the victory? I believe someone was saying out of their mouth I've got the victory I know the enemy is fighting, but I've got the victory. Why? Because I'm in Christ Jesus, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because you have overcome the world. Because you've overcome the world. I can be more than a conqueror. Why? Because my King, my Savior, my Lord, my Deliverer, already told me it's going to be all right. Anybody know that Jesus already told you it's going to be all right? That's why the songwriter said, I've got a feeling. But I've got more than a feeling. I've got a promise. Everything, everything. Look at your neighbor and tell him everything. May not look like it, but I said everything in Jesus is going to be all right. Yes, Lord. I want to go back to the book of Philippians on this morning. And thank you, Jesus. I've already read most of the chapter. I just want to read just a few of the verses again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I want to go back to the third chapter of Philippians, and I want to read from the seventh verse down to the 14th verse again it says but what things were gained to me those I counted loss for Christ yea doubtless and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win 
and be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after that, if that I may obtain that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind me and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press, somebody say that with me, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I want to stop right there, Lord God, we thank you. Again, this morning for all of your children that have come into this house, and those that are around the world, wherever they find themselves, that are magnifying and exalting your holy name. We humble ourselves before you and we recognize that we need your word, your word that strengthens us, that builds us up, that brings us into closer relationship with you, that gives us knowledge of who you are as it is applied to our lives. Not only do we hear it, but it becomes a living testimony unto your greatness, unto your power, unto your ability to do all things but fail, to bring every demonic force under power, and to give us the victory, O oh God, knowing that even in this life we live unto God, and if we should leave this life, O oh God, hallelujah, we are resting in you. Bless your people to have peace in their minds, in their hearts. Remove the struggle and the trouble in their thought process and give them, Lord God, the assurance. Help them to rest upon the fact that you will not lie and you never fail, but you always come through. Thank you for working it out in our behalf. Thank you for your favor with you and with man. And we will bless your name for you are certainly worthy of all of our praise. In Jesus' name it is our prayer. Amen. And amen. You may be seated at this time. When we look at this particular chapter, it's attributed to the Apostle Paul. He is writing unto his fellow believers. He's writing unto those that have been birthed in Christ. And those that have come to understand that they need the Lord in their lives. He wanted them to know that they were going to come against opposition. That every day was not going to be a bed of roses. and That everybody wasn't going to try to be your friend because you stood up for righteousness and godliness. He wanted you to look even in the realm of Christianity. Those who took the name but did not take the scripture and Christ himself and apply it to their lives or to build a relationship with the living Savior. And he says some of them you have to beware because they are not really looking to do you justice, but they are looking to do you harm. So Paul tells us to look out for the dogs. Look out for the legalists, look out for the Judaizers, look out for those that are troublemakers, look out for those that are teaching that you have to present Christ by the way you carry yourself alone, the way you look alone and your traditions alone. You need something deeper. You need to know Christ for yourself need to get to know him as the king, savior, and lord of your life. Wants them to know that when you are born again, this is a spiritual conversion. And so the flesh over time must be brought under subjection. You have to learn how to mortify your flesh. You have to allow the Spirit of God to help you to bring it under subjection so that you can have dominion 
over your body. But your flesh is always fighting against the spirit and they are contrary one to another. But you have to understand that God must be first. And so I'm going to seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. And by doing so, all the other things that I need to be equipped to live a holy life, it's going to be added unto me. Everything God planned for me to possess is going to be added unto me. Everything that's going to help me to always be victorious in the Lord is going to be added unto me. Why? Because I have put Christ first in my life. Lord, what do you want me to do? Lord, where do you want me to go? Lord, what do you want me to say? Lord, cleanse my mind so I can think those thoughts that bring you glory, that bring you honor, and that bring you praise. And I know, Lord, that if you take over my thoughts, thought process, if you help me in my thinking, if you help me how I operate in this world, then the things of the enemy that he brings against me, I will already know that I've got victory through you because you are living inside of me. Somebody tell them hallelujah. Oh yes, we have been transformed by the renewing of our minds and our thought processes. And then after God has saved us, he constantly renews us and restores our joy and restores our peace and restores our press. He continues to work on us and fasten us in his likeness. Praise God, he sets us apart and he sanctifies us for the use of the master. Somebody tell him hallelujah. Oh yes, Paul began to look over his life and he says unto the church, listen, if anybody can uh, boast based upon the things uh, that have occurred in their flesh, then I want you to know that I'm more, I, I have more to boast about because I was circumcised in the flesh on the eighth day. Uh, that Abrahamic covenant and promise uh, that was given unto him and his seed. I want you to know that I came through the stock of Israel. I was born of the tribe of Benjamin. And so in my flesh and in my lineage, I am connected to the Messiah. I want you to know not only am I connected by the, the, the fact that blood was shed and my skin was removed. And I was born of the tribe of Benjamin and I have the right, the bragging right. Amen. That I am directly an ascendant, a descendant from the children of Jacob. Hallelujah. I want you to know this, that I had a zeal. I had a press. I had a determination to please God. I found myself among the Sanhedrin. I found myself connected to the Pharisees and I learned the law backwards and forwards. I was one that in the the law itself, I was found blameless. And so I could count all of these things up. My knowledge, uh, my intellect, uh, praise our God if you will, my, my, my relationships and the people that I was found connected to in relationship with, it took me to the higher status within my family and in, in my peers. Uh, but I want you to know that I sat under the the feet of Gamaliel, which was the greatest teacher of our era. But I want you to know something, that through all of this, when I got to know Jesus, when I came into the knowledge of who he was, after I began to persecute the church, Paul said, after I began to take people and haul them into the judgment hall, and they were judged as being guilty and convicted for their belief in Christ, I want you to know that Jesus stopped by one day to 
see me he stopped by one day to introduce himself uh, matter of fact I had a personal meeting with the Christ uh, and on my way to Damascus uh, I had letters from the legal system and, and from the legislation that I can go out and take them in and, and bring them uh, for execution or for judgment uh, but Jesus when he found me in the way uh, he didn't say why are you persecuting my church uh, but he said Saul why persecuted thou me uh, in other words it is personal when the world come against uh, the children of the most high it is personal to Jesus uh, and then when they afflict you and when they come against you and them to do their evil and their dirt and them to try to steal your joy and try to take your praise and try to false accuse you and lie on you and try to misrepresent the things that you have said or what you have done so with this in mind you don't have to worry about whether God is working out for you but but you can praise him because you can know this that if I'm walking in the word if I'm living by the word if I'm in relationship with the Christ whatever the world is doing against me it's not because of who I am but it's because of who I represent and who I represent is going to stand up in my stead Ah, God takes it personal when his children are afflicted. But Paul said this, I want you to know that I count everything that I've gained as loss. I don't want you to worry about my degrees. Amen. Because they can't save me. I'm glad that I have them. I appreciate God because he allowed me to accomplish the things in the earth because he will use them for his glory. Somebody tell him hallelujah. Oh yes, he's going to use the knowledge that I've obtained for his glory. I'm in the skill set that I have. I'm not going to boast in the skill set because I know this, that the skill set is only something God has provided so that I can meet the needs of my family and that I can bless those around me when they are in need. But I'm rejoicing because I Put God first. It's not by my strength. It's not by my ability. It's not by my flesh that I've made it on my own. But it is by the power of the Lord that I'm still here. Anybody in the house going to give him praise because you're still here. Oh God, I made it because God has opened doors that were shut in my face. I made it because God has opened up the windows of heaven and poured out blessings in my life that I didn't deserve. Oh yes, he put money in my pocket. He put health in my body. He put clarity in my thought process. Oh yes, and when I was sick, he came by and he healed me and let his healing virtue flow in my members. And when they thought I'd never get up again. I said he breathed his breath of life in me again. And I rose up to walk in the newness of life. They thought I was dead. But I want you to know something. I heard somebody say that half dead ain't dead. Hallelujah. So you can look at me and I may look half Dead. But as long as life is in the body, there's hope from the Lord. And so even in my weakness, I found out that I can praise him. I found out that I can live for him. I found out that I could testify and tell somebody that Jesus is still a good God. And in this, I find strength uh, to get in the press uh, and so when trouble come uh, I'm not going to stay there or turn around uh, and run away uh, but I'm going to put my soul 
road uh, to the wheel uh, because I found out uh, it's forward ever uh, and backward never. Uh, I can't go back. Uh, if I leave you, Jesus, uh, where am I going? Uh, only you alone uh, have the word uh, of eternal life. Uh, somebody say yes. Yeah. I wish uh, that somebody could be a witness uh, that the Lord uh, has brought you over. Uh, your money uh, ran out in the bank, uh, but Jesus uh, still sustained you. Uh, oh yes, your money left you, uh, but Jesus is enough. Uh, amen. To step in the place uh, of your money uh, and make people, uh, even if they're your enemies, uh, come and bless you. Uh, Anybody serve that kind of God? They don't even know why they buy you lunch when they spend their money. But your enemies will bless you because God is in the midst. When you got the favor of the Lord, all you got to do is look and say, I know trouble is over me now. I see the dark clouds and the storm is over over me now but I press toward the mark there's a blessing ahead of me there's victory ahead of me there's more joy ahead of me there's a deeper knowledge of God ahead of me so if I suffer now it's all right because they that suffer with him now they're gonna reign with him so this little stuff that I'm dealing with now now uh, is nothing to be compared uh, with the glory of the Lord uh, that's going to be revealed uh, in that day. Uh, so I don't care uh, if you laugh at me. Uh, I don't care uh, if you mock me. Uh, I don't care uh, if you call me at my name uh, because I know uh, there's a new name uh, waiting for me uh, in glory. Uh, laugh at my attire. Laugh in my clothes. It's all right. I got a new robe waiting for me in glory. Hallelujah. Oh, laugh at my dance. Laugh at my shout. Laugh at my praise. Because one day we all wear crown. In that new Jerusalem, and I'm gonna be able to bow at his feet, take off my crown, and lay it down at his feet, and say, Blessed is the Lamb of God that lives forever. Hallelujah! I don't know about you, but I got a praise that I gotta get out. I got joy that flows like a river because the Lord has given me insight to why I'm in the press you may not know you may not understand why it's important to press because it's like a vineyard. The grapes are good on the vine, but when you want them to sustain and last for a long period of time, they must go into the wine press. And when they get in the wine press, they got to be pressured and and squeezed and compressed praise our God before the best is drawn out and I don't know about you I'm just in a period of my life that I might have to be in the press I may have to be compressed I may have to be oppressed but out of this God is drawing something out of my life Somebody say, yes. I'm going to press in the Lord because there's a blessing in the press. Somebody say, hallelujah. Beware of those that will teach false doctrines and lies 
to you to make you believe that if God loves you, then he's going to give you riches and wealth and houses and cars and jewelry and the finer things in life. Because when I look at the scripture and the gospel, I'm reminded that there were people that were burned at the stake, that were burned by fire, that were persecuted, that gave up their lives because they believed in Christ. Amen. They lost loved ones. Amen. They lost their children. They were thrown to the lions. Praise our God. They were put in the fiery furnace. They were hung on crosses for the cause of Christ. They were beheaded. They were slain, but they held on to their faith. They loved God so much that they went in the cities where they knew that their lives would be in jeopardy. That they knew that they believed in pagan gods uh, and they had worship uh, amen that would uh, amen uh, cause God uh, to be displeased uh, but the souls also needed uh, to hear the gospel uh, and because they had the good news uh, and they were called to be a witness uh, amen they girded themselves uh, in the truth of God's word uh, and they gra grabbed the whole of their boldness uh, and they said the Lord said only be thou strong and courageous and they went about the work of the Lord and the Lord said the world was not even worthy of them but I want you to know this I want to be seen as a child of the king I want to be able to endure unto the end I want to be able to enter in with the redeemed and say yes I've been washed in the blood of the lamb that I went through but I held on to my faith amen for without faith it is impossible to please God somebody tell him hallelujah and so I'm going to encourage you don't allow yourself to get caught up in the world don't allow the world to get you to try to mingle what is holy with that which is not holy that which is righteous with that which is unrighteous that which is godly with that which is ungodly but seek the Lord with all of your heart with all of your soul with all of your strength. Amen. Serve him with everything that you have in you. Amen. All that's in you. Give God the glory. Bless him at all times. And let his praise continually be in your mouth. Let your soul make a boast in the Lord. And the humble will hear and they'll be glad. You can look at him and say, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together why because the Lord he is good his mercy is everlasting his truth endureth to every generation this is your time this is your generation will you press will you stretch out will you give God what is rightfully his Will you honor him with your praise? Will you open up your mouth? Will you lift your hands? Will you get on your knees? Will you lay on your face? Will you get in the press? Because the race is not given to the swift nor the battle to the strong. But to him that endures and to the end and the only way to endure is to forget all those things that are behind. Get in that position and posture. It says, Lord, if I got to stand right here until you give me strength, 
I'm asking you, whatever you do, don't let me go back. But let me move forward. Because in this press, there's a blessing ahead. There's eternal life that is in the balance. There's a great weight. And the enemy is trying to hinder me from making it in the kingdom. But Lord, if you give me the strength, if you let your Holy Ghost abide on the inside, if you live with me daily, I'm going to stay in the press. And I'm going to press because I see the mark. There's a prize ahead of me. I'm going to press until the day you return, to the day I fall asleep. I press. Come on, stand to your feet, saints. For those that are online, I encourage you. As the bands are lifted, don't get comfortable in your living rooms. The enemy knows that fellowship is essential. The enemy has robbed the church's people in the building, not the body of Christ. But the people in the building that have allowed the enemy to trick them to believe that they're all right by themselves. If you're afraid to come to church, get you a small group that will come pray with you, that will come fellowship with you. You need fellowship. That's why the Bible said, don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together. Everybody that thinks they can make it on their own, they have been deceived by the enemy. God has called us to be a body to fit jointly together. And that which brings us to perfection in Christ. Our prayer is that God will bless you, that he will fill you with his spirit. That you will be baptized in his name. And that you will rise to walk in the newness of life. That you will build a relationship with Christ. Our only job is to point men to Jesus. Not to build a name for ourselves. People are so concerned about building legacy. You need to build a connection with Jesus because Jesus has already built a bridge so that you can travel back to the Father. There was no way until Jesus gave us the way so I point you to the way and that's Jesus Christ our Lord may you be saved and filled with his spirit may he change you from the inside out may he make you an heir to the throne of glory to those that are in the house I pray for you I pray that you won't settle I listen to our young people and I'm concerned because I watch and I 